Okay, today I'm gonna to tell you how to make your blog posts a whole heap more interesting, way more engaging, keep people on your website for longer, all with a few clicks. We're gonna show you how to set a featured image. So if I come up here to my blog and you can see that we've got loads of featured images. The featured image is this image, the one at the top of the blog post. It's giving context and it's giving something that's actually making you want to click on that blog article. For comparison, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove these featured images so that you can see what it looks like without them. Okay, so you can see here, I have removed the featured image from these top three articles. And if you compare that to what's below, like I say, context, something to click on, something interesting to look at, the whole page looks better versus title and text. So this is why we want featured images. They work to make things look better. They give your audience more reason to stay, more reason to click, and more reason to read. So how do we add them? The first thing we need to do is we need to be on our WordPress admin dashboard, and we need to go to our blog posts. So we're going to go across here to posts, and then we're just going to click on all posts. Let's start with the top one, and I'm going to go up to this post and just click on edit. Now from here, you're in the editor. We can start to edit the text, the blocks, the colors, everything like that. But all we're interested in is the featured image, which is all the way over here on the right hand side under one of these tags. Now you can see here, open, closed, featured image, set featured image, pretty straightforward. So we're gonna click on set featured image. So here we have the media library and this is all the photos that you've uploaded. You can use any of these for your featured image. There might be some in here that were already available based on the theme that you are using maybe. However, what we're gonna do for this first one is we are gonna select this image right there. And then once that's selected, we're gonna come over to the alt text and we're just going to give it a description. So all it is, is person wearing VR headset. Once we've done that, we come down to set featured image. You can see there that the image has now been placed there. And then we scroll up to the top and we just click update. If we now go back to the website and we just refresh the page, you can see that that blog post now has a featured image. It really is that simple. So let's get featured images on these other two rather bland looking blog posts and I'll show you another way to add a picture. Now, if you are struggling to get going with your WordPress site and you feel like you need some professional help, then check out WP Beginner Professional Services. We have an amazing team of people who are gonna be able to build you your dream website. It's not gonna look amazing, it's going to be functional as well. And if you wanna check that out, please click the link down in the top pen comment or in the description. So again, back to posts and all posts. Then we're gonna to go to the second article, the one that we want to add the featured image to and click on edit. Again, you can see here on the right hand side, there is no set featured image. So we're just gonna click set featured image. Now from here, instead of selecting something from our media library, we're just gonna head over to upload files. And then from here, you can drag and drop a file if you have one available to you, or what I'm gonna do is just click on select files. From here, I'm gonna head up into the top corner and just select this image. This is the one I want, and I'm gonna open it. This is gonna upload it and put it in my media library. So we can see here that we have that uploaded image, and then I'm gonna set that as the featured image. Again, you can see the featured image is here, so we're gonna update, and we're just gonna see what that looks like on the main page. And you can see here, once we refresh our web page, that featured image is now present. And again, compare it to the one without the featured image right next to it. The difference is huge. We highly recommend using your featured images. And if you do need help, maybe you are a beginner with WordPress, then check out this video on screen right now on how to get started from scratch.